the idea that physically disabled people are either inspirational or people to be pitied. We're human, we can smoke, drink, we can be imperfect, we don't have to fit people's expectations, we can just be ourselves and that is good enough. In late 2014, Cripple Punk came into my life and changed it for the better. Cripple Punk is a movement that started on Tumblr in late 2014. American blogger Tyler posted an image of themselves outside a diner. In one hand, they had a cigarette, in the other, their walking stick. The caption read, Cripple Punk, and underneath it, I'm starting a movement. But then, the hate began. Tyler took a collection of the hate and posted it underneath saying this is why we need the Cripple Punk. What had originally started out as a bit of fun was suddenly grown into an actual movement that was needed. Everything from selfies to art to essays to rants, everything started to be posted there. We started to feel less alone. A community was actually forming. But every movement needs a philosophy and Tyler provided that. Cripple Punk's philosophy is as follows, that physically disabled people of any type can involved. You don't have to use a stick. It doesn't matter how you identify. Everyone's experience matters. One of the main ideas is a good cripple with us. The idea that physically disabled people are either inspirational or people to be pitied. We don't have to fit people's expectations. We can just be ourselves and that is good enough. It's more than good enough. In late 2014, Cripple Punk came into my life and changed it for the better. I'm physically disabled, I've got connective tissue disease, a straight spine and Raynaud's. Before I had a diagnosis for what was impacting me, it came into my life and made me feel that I wasn't worthless, that I mattered and that there was other people like me. It's been four years since Cripple Punk began. And across the internet and in real life, the flame is still burning, the movement is still going. During the research for this video, however, I found out that Tyler had passed away last year. I'll never be able to thank them in person for how much they impacted my life for the better. I'll just have memories of Jessica who was alone before Cripple Punk and the me I am today that is partly thanks to people like Tyler and what they did for disabled people across the world.